Yo, shall we? Shall we? What is up, everyone? Ooh, my mic is too loud. Hold on. What is up? All right, cool. Let's go. Bam. Oh, God. Hey, everyone. How are you doing? Okay. Everything's set up, I think. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Happy, happy Monday. Uh Oh, I got the music still going. Come on, let's keep the music going. Hold on. Get that. There we go. You would think I know how to do this after how many streams. Hey, everyone. Hope you had a great long weekend if you're in the U.S. Long weekend, Thanksgiving. Uh, lots to reflect on. Lots to be thankful about. And, you know, uh, yeah. I don't, I really don't know how to intro these things. I never know. I'm just like, I'm going to make some websites, whatever. Anyways. Yeah. What else has happened? Uh, oh yeah. The Mars Insight Lander landed today. Holy crap. That's awesome. We're going to learn some new stuff about this universe. And, um, that was just fun to watch. Got goosebumps. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched it live, but uh, I, I tweeted out something like once they showed the first picture from the lander to just confirm that it landed and everything's all uh, healthy on the computers and whatnot. Uh, man, again, like I said in my tweet, that is just nuts. If you think about it, um, think about the first photo ever taken and how long it took for it to develop and finally see the image you know uh it probably took you, you, i think you would have to use like the old chemical way you know you have to go into a light room and then do all these chemicals and um wash it wash the film and all that stuff and do a projector from the so anyways i don't know i don't know how they did it back then but how long it, that took and now we can send a robot to a different planet it takes a photo and sends it back to us within eight minutes and then the whole globe gets to see that photo within seconds that's nuts to me that's nuts it's just it's just amazing what we can do just amazing uh and so yeah had all the feels and everything when that happened and i was like yeah dude that's so rocks but, um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Hashtag Bell Squad, who's in here? Doug, Vladimir, Steven, Brandon, Arturo. Yeah. Brandon, how was your holiday break? My holiday break was really, really good. Uh, I got to chill, got to eat, spend time with family, uh, did, uh, helped the wife with some client work, and saw Wreck-It Ralph breaks the internet, because I thought, you know, it, if something breaks the internet, I need to understand it and learn from it because it's part of my job to understand the internet. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of a, eh, I mean, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a B, 88% or something. And yeah, it was, it was all right. I mean, I enjoyed the, um, the little cameos of all these characters we've seen in the past and whatnot in other Disney movies and the Disney princesses were funny, but other than that, it was, it was cute, you know? So, I'd say rent it. Yeah, not really a theater type of thing. I thought it was going to be good. But yeah, how was your weekend? If you celebrated or you had a long holiday break, let me know how you spent, how you spent it. Uh, yeah. So anyways, what am I doing today? I'm going to, let me see. Do I have to fix this? Oh, I have to fix this. Yeah, I'm going to continue on with my website. Uh, if I can fix, there you go. Cool. Yeah, making great progress. I think we, I should be able to finish this relatively soon. I'm hoping to get this done before the new year, so it can be my new 
portfolio site and i think i'll do this at the end of each year you know just a new portfolio site each year brandon uh it was good other than getting sick through thir oh you were sick oh yeah yeah i I'm, last year i was sick during my my daughter's first christmas and i was like oh man like i didn't get to spend christmas with her but i got to spend the day after christmas with her getting over my sickness but a couple days later um my my daughter then got sick and then she got better and then a couple days later my wife got sick and i was like oh gosh yeah Steven, just being lazy for once, though I'm traveling this Thursday. It's okay to be lazy. You got to give yourself a break, you know? Give yourself a break. It's all good. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah, so let's get into this. Uh, I'm trying to finish this and see if I can launch before the end of the year. So let's add some interactions. All right, so here, here's where I left off, okay? I didn't get much time over the long weekend to add um, all of my projects. So I have the projects right here. I have, the, I have one project in there and I was working on it and the next thing you know, I just, uh, I still needed to finish it. Hold on, let me show you. Uh, I was writing stuff down on my phone as far as my case studies go, just writing uh, general notes. But yeah, so my um, client projects like Sherpa Energy. And if you haven't seen these yet, Sherpa, let me put it up here. Sherpa Energy Squares. Yeah, so this was my first uh, project, uh, Webflow project with my wife to help them out with their um, client. This is their client. She sells these very, very delicious, well, I like this, uh, the berry and the apple. I'm not much of a, this one I'm not a fan of, but these two are so good. Anyways, I helped them uh, put this together. They did the photography, the branding, the graphics, the design. I just put it all together with Webflow. And my wife wanted to take a picture of me, so I guess that's my first modeling gig. But yeah, Sherpa Energy Squares. So that's my first thing I want to put. And then Misadventure. Misadventure Vodka. So yeah. Um, yes, they wanted a pop-up. Yep. So again, they did the design. And this one was kind of tough because it was my first time uh, using Flexbox for a client project. This totally could have been Grid, but this is when Flexbox, like, it was like Flexbox and Webflow was like two weeks old or something like that. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. And the hard part about this one was um, uh, Safari Mobile, and I think Desktop too, or only Safari Mobile, didn't have full uh, support for Flexbox. And so when it came down to responsiveness, I had to use floats and, or, or call, it, was, it sucked. Yeah, and I think that's still going on here, the old code. Didn't want to touch it after it was done, but yeah. What else? Uh, so Cloudbrick, this interesting one, Cloudbrick ICO. So the blockchain company, and let me see, is this, is this your site? Is this the one? Is no, this is not it. Is it? If so, then they completely changed it. No, this is not it. Wait. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh wow, they completely changed. Yeah, I remember doing these interactions and everything. It was tough because, yeah, the custom, custom light box and C CMS and whatnot. And, oh, they changed these too. Read bio. Oh, it just goes straight there. But anyways, the hard part about this was uh, working and testing this stuff. Oh, this was a fast turnaround. They wanted it done in like three weeks or less or something like that. I forgot what the contract is. But I was working with my wife to get this out. And this is a South uh, Korean company. And we would we were we launched it like at a, at two a.m. And we're 
and we were talking with the their their team when they're in their afternoon but it was 2 a.m for us and it was tough man it was tough trying to stay up and then like test and ugh. but yeah that was fun uh yeah and i got some other stuff so i still gotta put it into my um case studies and fix uh fix it up with some screenshots and whatnot so that's where i left off um then i also added some techniques for the um for the project so the projects is gonna have yeah techniques that i used for multi-reference so it's things like um platform migration e-commerce etc etc so that's what i'm gonna be doing for my projects what else have i done um still can't figure out why this wrapper right here has the patterns right whoa okay good what no okay there good has i don't okay wrapper used on six other pages right and it totally works but yet if you go here to videos like it works but then you go to like this and it doesn't work and it's still using oh child wrapper eh? is that why yeah it, it's just, so i don't know i don't know the things i don't i don't understand the internet ragged ralph didn't teach me anything anyways connor what's up glad you can make it i think i finished this yep Finished that, so everything looks good here. Added the dates. Uh, contact page, didn't finish that. Yeah, so a couple things, but let's see if we can make something pretty and fun with interactions. Um, yeah, so again, when I do these things, it's all off the top of my head. And I just like to experiment because that's how I do. Uh, so I for this kind of a boxy thing, I, I like to think of the swiping effect um, like this blaze this guy right here not no not that guy wrong guy that guy <laughs> so French designer the French web flow expert blaze he has these swipe effects and I kind of want to do that to me these swipe effects are very slow but that's his style so it's like okay but not my style so I'm gonna try these swipe effects see that one's nice and fast but that one it just takes like see how fast that is yeah so I'm gonna try some of this and all it is just overlay right all right let me try that so when the page loads, I'm going to swipe. Let's see what happens. Uh -huh. So how do we do this? So simple swipe would be, let's see here. Let's see here. What can I do? So I want to do a simple swipe with the, the blue and see if I can make that come in or should I start with the white I think it'd be easier I think the easiest thing to do just to test out my just to see how this works is I'm gonna swipe uh, this one start with the green one and see how it can load in so what I'm saying wait what is this uh, grid stuff what's going on now oh you need to call here there you need two rows done. Have at it. Okay, stop complaining. Okay, good. All right. So, let's see here. What if I turned off the overflow and then the width of this is like one pixel? Hmm. You can't because there's stuff inside. But I wanted to... Oh, because of the padding. Hmm, interesting. So I'll need to take out the padding and then add the padding to this. So 
So let's go ahead and add 15. All right, so back to where we were. But now with this one, rename it to that. There we go. So I can do something like this. How come it's so long? Actually, 0%. And then it's going to go like this. But this shouldn't break at all. So I need to figure out how this cannot break. Or do I have to set an actual pixel width? Hmm. Hold on, let's see here. Let's try this out. No, I don't want you to break. How come it's not like respecting? Oh, I feel like I don't know how to do the things anymore. So you know what I mean? I don't want it to, I don't want this thing to shrink down. It's parent should be the one shrinking, but this one shouldn't. I don't want to use a set pixel size, but if I have to, I guess I have to. So if I set it to 400, watch, <gasps> it still breaks. Is it because it's flex? I think it's because of flex. Ah, that's why, that's what happens. So flex box is the problem. So this right here, just set it like that. Set it and forget it in that way. Okay, no. So I was right. All right, so what have we learned? Uh, okay, so I learned that this, the, the child, the, the content inside the button needs to be a certain pixel size or else it'll shrink down. It, like the words will break and then it'll give the height of the button. It'll give a height to the button because things are shrinking down. So if I set this, the width to a certain pixel size and now I can do this. Okay. Flexbox and overflow can be tricky sometimes. Still haven't fully wrapped my head around the odd parts of layout. Yep. And welcome, Spencer. Welcome. Glad you can make it. So this is what I want to do. Uh, what? Wait a minute. Look at that. <laughs> Why is it every time on this stream I'm finding things that break? Look at this. I'm clicking overflow, right? And then when I go down, the overflow is gone. Why do you do the things? Okay, well, I'll set the overflow. I hope it sets the overflow to hidden. Anyways, I'm not gonna do the width here. I'm gonna do the width on the interaction. Okay, so first thing, let's, let's also do something with this. I wanna do a green swipe. So that's already on this. So I'm going to put a div inside. What about putting one div block inside of another, setting overflow to none and removing the div block with the content to show up from behind? Would that work? I think I'm kind of doing something like that. Hold on. Let me finish this and we'll see if we're talking about the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to set this to full and I'm just going to say green overlay or CTA overlay. There's no beginner's way to do whatever, and there's no really advanced way. Like, there's just multiple different ways to do things on Webflow. It's, or web design. It's all weird. But if it works, it works. Okay, and let me set this on top of the blue. Okay, so I want this to swipe. 
So cool. So let's do this. CK button. Let's add an animation. So what I'm going to do is let me just show you a preview of what's going to happen. Okay. So you understand. So what's going to happen is this CTA button is going to start at 0%, right? With the overflow hidden. Jeez. And then it's going to swipe in like this. Right? To 100% from 0 to 100. And then this guy right here, he's going to start at 100%. And let's go ahead. He's going to start at 100%. Oh, and he doesn't even have to go to, he doesn't have to shrink down. He can just move. So he's just going to move this way. Uh, uh, what? Oh my gosh. Or is it transition, it transforms where I move it. There we go. And there's going to be hit, uh, over, overlay hidden, uh, overflow hidden. So that way the, um, the box you won't see it on the left or the right and it's swiping away so it's like a two reveals reveal the button and then reveal the label okay so that's what i'm doing let's do it do oh yeah when page loads page loads not start loading when it finishes loading burgers I only used one and gave me all of them. Hmm. Anyways. Save button reveal. Actually, page load. Okay. So this right here. Let me just double check. Right there. Anyways. Page load right here. CTA button. Okay, so I'm going to set the size to 0%. Easy. That's the initial state. And then when I'm done, it's going to be 100%. And it's not going to be linear. It's going to be in out cubic. Cool. Yep. That's all I want. And now I can get this guy right here, CTA overlay, to move. This one will be, see the, over, the overlay hidden? Yeah, overlay, overflow hidden? That's what, it's, that's what I want it to, want to happen. Go like that. And now cubic, and that's it. And I think this should happen faster, so I'm going to put it at the same time, but with a delay of point, point 0.2. Ooh. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Well, remember, sound effects help. Hi, Thomas. Welcome to the stream. Oh, and also, if you have any questions about Webflow, if you want to show off something... Or you want to get on the air? Yeah, let me know. If you want to get on Google Hangouts, or like, hey Nelson, how do you do this? Well, now's your time. And then it'd be cool if you like actually got on the got on the stream and asked your question. <laughs> Sound effects and solves all the problems. Yes. Cool. So just like that, just add little touches like that, and it'll make your site look cool. Cool. Let's go ahead and let's do this whole big box. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, I knew it. If I do overflow hidden like that, it cuts that little thing off and my, my style gets cramped, yo. Don't cramp my style. Push it out more. Cool. I don't know for flavor. Um. Man, and in what? 
in interactions, you can't turn on and off overflow inside of interactions. So I'm going to have to think of a different animation. Hmm. Nelson, how do you prevent interactions happening on mobile? Great question. I'll show you what I just did right here. Page load. And see how I have this page load set? So right now it's triggered on all different breakpoints. So if I don't want the interaction to happen on mobile, I just turn these two off and I'm done. Cool. Having overflow issues as well. Yeah. Uh, give me a link or something or DM me a link on Twitter or whatever. Or if you want to get on the air. If you're cool with that, just we'll do a Google Hangouts. Ethan, what is up? Okay, this one I could do overflow hidden. So let's go ahead and do that. So what if we go back to the page load and we're going to add this one right here. Size this down to 0%. Oh, yeah, because my nav is not part of the color block. Ah, oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, yeah, actually, let's call this home page. HP page load. OK, cool. So we'll go like that. And let's go ahead and size it to 100% in out cubic. Cool. And let's make this happen before the other one. Oof. Now, how about with it? But the delay is, uh, this delay is going to be 0.5. Actually, you need to make them faster. How about this one? We'll, this one's 0.5. Well, 0.25, and this one happens at 0.35 and this one happens immediately oh okay cool things are ha mm. remember when I renamed this CTA button to hello darkness my my old friend do I have to do that again to you mr. CTA Okay, that's happening way too fast. You don't really get the sense of double uh, thing. So this is 0.25, so we'll wait four, five. Why is it happening too fast? Fine, after, and then no delay. Ugh, ugh, it's so ugly. Ugh. Almost. Well, now you ask. I've been having problems with interactions in the work section. I have some images in the device that I want to scroll as your page scrolls. All right, Arturo. Yeah, I'll take a look at your site. All right. Detour. Here we go. Arturo, oh, super bread. All right, here we go. Having problems with interaction in the work section. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool, cool. I like how these are scrollable. Um, case study section or there's no interactions happening. Is that the problem? Hold on, let me. Let me go ahead and get your, why is that happening? Hold on. Let me go get your, um, share link. Okay. There we go. Let me get your share link. Cool. All right. Okay, um, 
Random question, have you tried PlayStation VR? No, I have not. I have tried Google Daydream. And I guess with my type of eyesight got me dizzy. So I'm not sure if I can do that VR stuff. But I can give it a go again. Uh, I don't have a PlayStation 4 though. Alright. Um, yes, the images are scrollable. I was trying to make them auto-scroll. Uh, what do you mean by auto-scroll? I see no interactions about me. What's the interaction there? Photo reveal? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I didn't notice that had an interaction. I would set, instead of 10, I'd set this to like 50. Yeah. Or 30? I don't know, it just comes in way too fast for me to notice the interaction. Yeah, something like 30. Um, parallax inside of those devices. Oh, I see, I see. Um, it's not scroll into view. Uh, yeah, here, got you. I got you. I got you, boo. All right, it's not scroll into view. I would delete that. All right. It's a uh, scroll into view here on the section work. Check this out. Element trigger, scroll into view. Oh, no, not scroll into view. While scrolling in view. Okay, that's the one that makes it all parallaxy. Okay, and uh, let's add one and yo. And then I'm going to select this and 0%. The move is zero and then a hundred percent the move is um negative 100 percent oh whoa let's do something like 70 percent okay 70 and zero percent all right well oh, wrong scroll bar See, now it's moving. But it could be more. Oh, okay. So we get to here, 24. You drag it here, 24. There you go, live preview. Cool, there you go. Actually, it should start later. Oh, like 15. There you go. Something like that. Hope this helps. Every, 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 every. Cool. Easy question. Not a problem. Uh, I'll post at the end if you have time. No biggie. Yeah, you can post now if you want, Doug. I don't mind helping. Right, so this is read only, so everything I do is now gone. Cool, back on this. So this color block, cool, that works. Um, now this nav right here, it needs to have an interaction as well. I want I want some sort of overlay or something to show up. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what to do with this because this nav is going to show up. Oh, I know. Can I do this? Can I do same thing size? Let's try it. I'm going to set this to overflow none. And then go back here. Go back here. See if I can add size to 0%. Looks like I can. Let's just make sure that it's on the class of nav. And let's go ahead and add this as well. Size 100%. Not too bad. That looked weird. I was probably broken. Ugh. 
it, it's doing that break thing again. I think I have to set this. This has to be. This has to be a certain width. Like, I have to set a pixel width to it. No. Then that means it's, we're not responsive if we're using. Look at that. That's not responsive. Whose idea was this to do the stupid swipes? Man. Oh, I want it to work so bad. All right. See, that's what's going on right now. It's starting at zero and then it goes like this. Which is lame. Would VW work? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But then it's still gonna do the brakes. These are the brakes. Uh what if I put like what you said, what if I put something inside of something? What if I put a div block inside of this to push everything, uh, push everything into, there we go, push every, everything out to that uh, width. Let's try it. Uh, 30 VW. So like that. All right, we're trying it. We're trying it. Let's see here. Not the color block, the nav. So the nav is going to go 0%. Right? And then it's going to grow. Ah. Okay. It could work. It could work. Let's go ahead and make this div block, give it a class name to nav holder, hodler. Okay, that works. Learning, learning. Okay, nav bar size 0%. Um, maybe it'll work. Maybe it didn't. How come it? Oh yeah. Oh, it's sending it to nav bar. No, and that's that's the wrong class. It should be nav. Mm, size. One zero percent. And then, excuse you, actions for collection items searchable are coming soon and cannot be added to this. It is neither a collection item nor, Lord Almighty. Fine. Look at nav bar, if I set the, to zero percent, It still shows. What? Oh, because of this. Is it doing this thing again? Yeah, it is. What is with that? All right, try it again. Zero percent. There we go. We got it. Not move. <gasps> no. Zero percent. Okay, good. We're good. We're still good. We're still good. One hundred percent. Sweet. Cool. Now just need to remove that linear and cubic. And let's put it with the color block. Say the delay is like 0.25 and then we're going to push this one down to 
three five. This one, let's go point seven. Cool. Little touches. But how does this big boy show up? Hmm. Or is it always there? Hmm. A blinking pixel would be cool, like it were, were to blink three times. A non loop being. Ooh! Ha! Huh. I think Luke, Luke got me thinking. You got me thinking, Luke. What if this whole main thing? Oh, I get it. I got. Watch this. Watch this. Oh man, this could be fun. This could be fun, right? Yeah. All right. Stay with me. Since I can't do overflow hidden because I'm doing that little tabby thing with my call to action, I can do. Um, opacity zero. Simple. Opacity zero and all these things. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So they're not there. Right? And so... Hey, Navbar, where's your overflow? Don't tell me. Okay. All right, cool. So far, so good. And then this main right here. Can we set the size to like 50, 50? But I want to put that in the center. Hmm. So put that in the center and that'll be my blinking pixel. And that border too. There you go. Ooh, ooh, ideas. Ideas are happening. I need to move that to the center. I want that absolute center. I don't think I can though with with the move with the transform move. Unless I use like kind of fake it. And then 30 VH. This is so fake. Something like this. That is not. Is that center? Uh, you can't tell because of that other guy. Okay. Well, anyways. I, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So we start like that. And then my main. And then this will be opacity zero. Can use parent element. Uh, main doesn't have a uh, well the parent element is the grid wrapper so I can't do that that trick because I'm not using position absolute alright let's see here set the opacity to zero but the duration is going to be fast, so it's going to be like 0.1. And then we go again. All right, these are just, they're confusing me. Are these easy to, yeah, let me just delete these real quick. They're confused, actually no. Okay. All of you, get out of the way. There. Okay. 
My bad. Wrong one. Okay, cool. All right. So opacity is zero. And then right after that, let's just make another one. And the opacity would be 100 and 0.1. And then do it again. Blink three times, right? Opacity 100. So off, on, off, on, off, on. Okay, okay. And then after off, on, off, on, off, on, goes back on. The size of this go back to auto, auto, and also at the same time, it'll move to its original spot. Shoot. How do I set it back to its original spot? Am I allowed to do that? Because it was first moving on the VWs and VH, but now it's moving to pixels. All right, well, let's see what I created. Probably some monstrosity, but here we go. <gasps> what have you done? And this is why people like don't this is why people don't like to do stuff live. <laughs> Cause when it looks like shite. <laughs> oh my god. What have we learned? That you can make terrible things in Weblo. Terrible looking things. Is it the size because of the auto? <laughs> How about growing with every blink? Uh, that would look in my head. That would look kind of weird. Um, obviously better than what I've already created, but and that blinking is way too, way too fast. Huh. I guess I can't move. I can't set the move, but you saw what I was trying to go for. Hmm. It so interactions with grid is weird. I'm ruining this. Oh man, Luke, I had a night. You, you had a good idea, and I I failed you. I failed you. I'm backing out of it. I'm backing out. Too advanced. <gasps> Dude. Too advanced. Oh my god. Those were the days. Those were the days, man. Too advanced was oh, I was all in on them. I would always dream about like doing stuff like them. Uh, but Flash died, and so did they. They put all their bass. They they put all their strength into Flash, and man, they actually did one of the first SpaceX websites back when I was like in col junior college, and then uh, I saw this thing called SpaceX, and to advance did their website, and I was like, oh, that's cool, rockets, whatever. <laughs> Fast forward to now, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get a tattoo of SpaceX. Yeah. Hi, Nelson, don't get me wrong. It's kind of nice to see you fail. It means I'm not the only one. Yep, everyone fails. That's the only way to learn. If you fail, and I'm learning, and I'm learning that uh, this is not working. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's fun. Vladimir, for me, the problem was that the blinking didn't match the sliding action. Yeah, but I like how the blinking, it's kind of, it, it, it's, it's, it's techy, you know, a blinking cursor. Um, let me bring you guys back. All right, back to here. So what else can we interact with? I mean, I can do 
a full page swipe, which is super simple. And here's how you do that. Just take a div block and say page overlay and just do the whole page, you know, just absolute the whole thing. And we'll start with a brand color. Um, we'll just do that. And there you go. And so all you got to do is just, I don't know if this is a cheap cop out or something, but this is the easiest way to do it. Actually, you know, the initial is a hundred and then size it to, Oh no, we don't have to size. Eh, yeah, size it to zero percent. But actually, I want to have it move to the left. I mean, I want to move it to the right because everything is swiping to the right. Hmm. So it's not as easy as I thought in my head. All right, so what I have to do is I have to have this page overlay and do the whole overflow thing and have a child um, element inside of it. Okay, so let me just put page overlay wrapper and inside of it, I'm going to put another div block and this is going to be the actual gray overlay and then get my brand color. And this is the thing is that's gonna swipe. So 100% width, 100% height. And this is the thing that's going to do the animation. Not you, not you, but you. So the size, we're gonna start out with 100%. And then set the width to 0%. And what's it doing? Because I'm Oh, <laughs> you need a float, right? There we go. So what I'm doing is there you go. So it's going to start off like this. And then it's going to swipe that way to reveal everything. Okay, so let me put this up here. Cool. 100 to, sorry, zero. I mean, that works. Let's do a delay of like 0.5. And all of these should just excuse me let me check the real frame rate how come I oh it's because the overlay needs to does it need to have a higher Z index? Okay, so this Z index is like a thousand, so I'm gonna say a thousand and one. There we go. Oh, it's linear. That's why it looks lame. Your easings, everyone, your easings. Get it right. Linear is lame. Okay, so here's second thought, like before this full, ooh, that was cool. Before this full gray swipe happens, we can have that dot happen. Ooh, ooh, thoughts. Yes? No, oh, okay. Is she sleeping? You want to say hi to chat? Yeah. Say hi to chat. Hi, chat. You want to say hi to chat? Hi, chat. I don't know if they heard you, but okay. I'm adding swiping effects. That's cool. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm cute. All right. Another idea. I'm gonna make my. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make my logo. Do something fun. Let's see here. Uh, let's put this in the center. No. Hey, oh, hi. I didn't. I didn't know you're behind me. So I'm going to take my logo and then like the blinking dot is going to be the the pixel in my logo. Right? So hold on. So I'm going to get my logo. Right? I'm going to remove the dot. And then I'm going to save it as a as a bung. Right? Um let's just say just the p. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Where did I put that? Oh, I put that under stream. Okay, cool. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just the P. What did I put? There it is. Alright, so let me put this here. Oh, it's like reve re revealing a curtain or something. All right, let's just put this in the very center. We'll do the whole absolute thing. Oh, no, 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 not this one. This needs a wrapper as well because the actual, the actual dot needs to be inside of it as well. So, yeah, let me, uh, hopefully I'm doing this right. Instead of preloader, it's a P loader. And then it's gonna be like 50 50. I can't explain what's happening in my head, but like you you'll see. You'll see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh too big. I... Okay, I let the height of that dictate it. Unless the height of this can be a hundred percent. Oh gosh. Okay, so P loader. And so inside of there is that image, but also in there is gonna be another div, and this is gonna be P loader pixel. That's gonna be like fifteen fifteen or something like that. So I'm recreating my logo. And so my logo is gonna have some sort of animation. Okay, not there. Okay. What? Yeah. I think I need to push it down a little bit. Just uh can't tell. Okay, so maybe not a gray overlay. Maybe it should be white. Cause you can't really see it. I wonder if you change the class name here, does it change inside the interaction? I hope so. Okay, so this image is P loader logo. And so what's going to happen in my head, what's happening is, let's see here. Let me just, hold on. I, I know I just, I stopped mid sentence. I'm sorry. Because my brain is working faster than my my m m mouth. <laughs> Good morning, Julian. Um, trying to make something happen. If it's your morning, where where are you at? Is this are you in the UK or something? Okay, so P loader. Let's do that overflow hidden. Germany. Good morning. Good morning, Germany. Ooh, not sure if I'm going to do this right. Anyways. Let's see here. So this image, what if I pushed it down? Or should it be in a reveal as well? Oh, God, my head. Hmm. Let's 
this should be feed loader overlay. I'm trying here. Can't explain. Hold on. All right. Cool. Cool. So this is going to blink one, two, three times or something like that. And she's going to be all alone, right? And then after it blinks three times, what if it the overlay revealed the full logo? So it's like, whoop. So it's like, blink, blink, blink. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Uh, see? Hard to explain what's happening in my head, but yes. Thank you for waiting. Okay, here we go. Blink, blink, blink. Show me the blinks. Oh, yeah, it changed. It says white overlay. Cool. You're onto something. Stop before you start animating SVG graphics to make a five second loader. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> I don't know how to animate SVG graphics. Okay, opacity. Uh, duration, two seconds. And actually, let's set the opacity of this to zero. So initial state zero. And then it turns on for two seconds. Let's turn it off in two seconds, 0.2 seconds. Turn it back on. Can I just copy paste these? No, I cannot. Wait, can't. Wait, what did I just do? Anyways. Okay, we're back on it. So off, on, off, on, off, on. So that's one, two, three. Okay, cool. And then you get this overlay. And we're going to move it. Hundred percent. Cool. One thing I wish, like, but it would be much harder. Or, or is it? What? How do I animate it where it goes up, and then around? I'm going too far with this. But that's how my brain works. <laughs> so he here's the interesting thing about me. When I'm learning something, how I learn is I think about it. I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you could do this? And then I put myself out there and try to learn it. And I'm like, oh, my God, why did I even try to learn it? It's too hard. Oh, well, I'll try it anyway. <laughs> Maybe this is what Luke is talking about. <laughs> I'm going to go too far with this. Oh, so close. Is that enough blinks? Hold on. So the white overlay, what does it do? It goes to zero. So before it goes to zero, Perfect. It needs to go away somehow. Let's just do a fade. Or can I... What happens if this P loader overlay, if this size goes to 1%? Yeah, I knew it. Things are going to break. That's not going to work. All right. We'll just fade it out then. Capacity. No, not the white overlay. No. The P loader. 
He loads a pixel, and then, 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 there he goes. Opacity zero, and at the same time, it goes, let's move it to the right a bit. Okay, I said a bit, like 50, cool. And then both of these will do that thing. But let's have a delay of like 0.75. Let's just let it linger so people will see the logo. All right, let's see. Oh, that was kind of lame. Let's make these faster. Yeah, this needs to happen faster. Ooh, I did it. <laughs> What's up? I knew what I was doing all along, right, chat? I knew. That's what web design is. You just mess with it until something happens. Duh, okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Yeah, we did it. Luke, thanks for the idea. Vladimir, isn't the pixel blinking a little too fast? Uh, I think it's fast. I think it's 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 a good. I think it needs to sweo in a little slower. Sweo it needs to sweep. It needs to sweep a little slower. Which sweep? The the white overlay. So I don't want to go too slow like uh, Blazes. Like to me, that, that, if this is his brand where he's like, he's like nice and smooth and, and stuff like that, I totally get it. And like thinking about the stars, you know, that's like a moment of reflection. And so, yeah, I can understand why it's slow, you know, but to me, it's too slow. Like that, I'm like, let's just get on with it. Hurry up. Let's get on with it. But that's him. That's his style. And that's awesome. But for this sweeping, yeah, the main action. So this main section. Now that I look at it more, you might be right. Duration is 0.5. I'm going to do 0.75 and see where life takes us. Okay. I think page transitions are... All right, here. Uh, republished. Let me know what you think. It's not really in the center. I forgot to do one thing. That's not really in the center. I have to do that trick where it's 50-50, and then I have to push it back. Negative... 50%, now it's centered, fixed, ooh, look at that, there's a little sliver, whoa, and it moved down, what's going on, no, oh, because I, I moved it, okay, okay, I get it, so I went from percent to pixels, so I have to fix that, so this has so this is where it was before all right so i just want to move it that way oh god it's going so slow let's say plus 50. why is there a little sliver what why did it go down Uh. <sighs> Come on. It's 
not you. You're not the you're not the problem. What? Look at that. When I when he's covering, you can see a little sliver. You can see a little sliver of the P logo. Does that mean I have to... Man. I mean, does that mean I have to make this like bigger than the actual div? Like 101%? And then push this back? One? Ugh. What a hacky thing to do. But it works. That fixes that. That fixes that, but... That's supposed to be 100%. Look at, why does it go down? What's your deal? Blah. What's your deal? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm so close. Okay, something happens here and here. They're pixels. P loader. So the move are all that's percentage, percentage, that's percentage. What? It doesn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't do this. Oh man, come on, really? Don't jump. <sighs> okay, so what if I remove this move? But it's not as cool. It's not as cool. He whined. Okay, I'm putting these back. Okay. What if I make the P loader set the initial to negative 50 as well? Will it move? It shouldn't. Okay, so far so good. This one. Can I move it? Okay, so lesson learned, you have to put a initial state if you're going to move it. Don't know why. Okay, we're fine. Whew. Again, fine workarounds, fine workarounds. There's a... CSS is weird, JavaScript is weirder, but we can tackle these things. We can tackle these things together. All right, so I'll, yeah, I would just need to make this interaction happen on all the page. No, nah, I don't think I'm gonna make it happen on all the pages. That would just be overkill to me. Unless I do page transitions, maybe. Uh, wow, that needs, let's go ahead and turn this off real quick. I can't see what I'm working on. Yeah. Uh, I think these need to be smaller. Cool. All right. Tackling interactions. It was fun. 
I turned it off, that's why. Turn it back on. Sweet. That's fun. Probably do some paint. Oh. One last thing. I need to turn it off. So after it's all done, the white overlay, I need to add one more thing, the hide and show, turn it off, and we're good. Because I want to be able to click behind it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Vladimir, and thank you, Doug, for the suggestions. What? What are we missing? Is it? What is this? Ah, wrong one. Page overlay wrapper. I was supposed to turn that off. Not the white overlay. Page overlay wrapper right here. Hide show, turn off. Yep, now I can click on whatever. Good to go. Yeah. Slowly but surely, this will be finished. Maybe next, next stream, I'll take a break from this and do something else. I was thinking of uh, doing the Insight Lander page. I don't know if you guys seen it. Ugh, Mars Insight Lander. Uh, let's see here. There's this cool page. I don't know if you guys saw it yet. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Not that one. Uh, there it goes. This page. So I was wondering, do you guys think I should show you how to create something like this? Where like it explodes like that? So that's pretty cool. And then it shows a video. And then it shows you another slide. Then it goes this. This is basically PowerPoint. If you think, to be honest, it's basically PowerPoint. But it's pretty cool. It has nice little interactions. Dang. Can you imagine? We're able to do that. That's nuts. And so those are just a bunch of images. How do you do the numbers like that? Um, JavaScript. There's, I, I remember doing number counting up like that, like jQuery count up. And so it's like old JavaScript. It's really simple. You just set the parameters. You know, like where do you want it to end? Where do you want, what number do you want to start at? What number do you want to end? And how long will it take? You know, and then using custom jQuery or something, you can say, um, when I get to this pay, when I get to this section, like set the number, start from 3,800 to 861. Yep. So all it is, all the JavaScript is, is it's replacing the number inside that text block um, and using simple math to either add one or subtract one. And that's it. I've never coded. No idea how to do that. Ah, learning code is fun. It, it can be challenging at times, but um, if you're into it, it would add a lot more to your skill set and a lot more to a lot more opportunities for you than just design. But again, coding, it's it is another language that you have to learn. 
So yeah. That's so cool. Um what else? So, um announcement. I'm setting to make things easier for me and my family. I'm setting these streams to be Mondays, Thursdays, and if I have time, Saturdays. Okay, so Monday, Thursday, Saturdays, 8 p.m. Pacific. Uh, that way you'll know when to log on and watch rather than me sending a random tweet saying, hey, I'm going live. Yeah, so yeah, that's going to be the schedule. I'm going to actually have a streaming schedule. I'm going to post it on Twitter and, and, and YouTube and whatnot so everyone will know. But yeah, another announcement. Um, let's see here. Tomorrow I'm streaming on the YouTube on Webflow's official channel, uh, YouTube.com/slash/Webflow. Uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm just gonna be doing a simple e-commerce page. You've already seen me do it on this on this stream, but to the more general Webflow community, uh, I'll be streaming it to to them. Because a lot of people uh, still don't know the power of e-commerce, Webflow e-commerce. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. What else? Um. Uh yeah. Oh, de December not seventh. Hold on, I gotta look at my calendar. Where's my calendar? Hold on, I'm gonna get it. December didn't see part four. Oh okay. December calendar calendar mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's December 5th got to double check where's the where's the mail hold on da, 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 da. yep December 5th at 11 p uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific December 5th uh, Crowdcast, the CEO of Crowdcast wants, he has his own, uh, streaming show, obviously, cause that's his tool. Um, and I'll be a, a guest on his show. So if you want to learn more about my background, uh, what do you say he wanted to talk about? He wanted to talk about my story, background, how I got into web design, community building and web flow. So yeah. Uh, then we'll dig into some of the things you've learned with the intention of sharing some nuggets of wisdom for others doing similar work. Yes. So I will tweet out a link for that when that is available. But yeah, if you want to know more about my backstory, there it is. Uh, you can just join into that uh, live stream. Anything else? Live stream. Oh, lastly, if you haven't put on your calendar yet, Please do so. December 18th, the last live Q&A with uh, Vlad, the CEO of Webflow. Uh, yeah, that'll be on Crowdcast as well. So Tuesday, December 18th, 11, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific. Bring your questions. Ask Vlad as many questions as you can. And I'm going to be keeping track of how many dad jokes he can he can pull off. But yeah, uh, da -da. yeah. Anything else? Anything else you guys want to know? Have some issues with on Webflow? Be happy to answer them right now. If not, I'm gonna end the stream. But oh, another thing. If you want to be a meetup organizer or community mod, hit me up on Twitter. DM me, and I will. I will contact you when I can to see if we can get that started. As far as meetups go, I th I'm trying to go to the first LA meetup, Los Angeles meetup. So if you can, if you want to meet up there, hey, uh, Google search Webflow meetup Los Angeles and you'll get the details there. Doug, uh, overflow on my services page. Okay, where's your services page? I don't see a link on the chat. Hmm. Oh, let me check if anyone was talking on Twitch because I'm restreaming to Twitch too. Hold on. 
How do I go in my... There we go. Probably no one was... Yeah, I don't think anyone was there. Totally fine. Uh, here we go. Let's get it. All right, Doug. What are we working with? That's not it. That's YouTube. Go to site. All right, there we go. Ah, scenic. Oh, you're doing the swipes too. Oh yeah. Okay. So overflow on my services page. Got it. Let's go. Services. Ooh, interesting. Is this a graphic? Cut out graphic? Mm. Uh. Where's the text? I'm confused. I I'm interested how this is happening. Hold on. I'm distracted a little. How is that happening? Okay, that has nothing to do with it. This graphic doesn't have that cutout. And so this is over overlay. This, it has to be this. But it's not. Oh, I want to learn. I want to learn. Services heading text box. Oh, you did the clip? Is this live text? It is. Oh, that's so cool. You're doing this. Yep. You're doing the clip. Okay. Thank you. I just had to learn. Let me refresh. All right, uh, overflow on my services page. Okay, what's, I don't, which part, which part are you talking about? I like, that's cool, brand identity, brand strategy. I like how you're using sticky, page load transition, okay. Let's see here. Looks like you're doing it right. Not sure. It scrolls over. Oh, okay. I see. Cool. Your services wrapper is the whole thing. Okay, cool. So your services wrapper just needs overflow hidden. And there we go. That's it. That's the. Uh, that's all you need to do. Well, services wrapper overflow hidden and you can't scroll left or right anymore you can still scroll down though then sticky don't work Ugh. dilemma hmm so that's position relative and so setting that hidden removes the stickiness. Can you just put this all in here? And make this relative and then make this auto. Oh. Huh. Where's your sticky? Hmm. Position sticky. Which one has sticky? Only brand has sticky. Design and brand. Oh man. Wait, design text doesn't have sticky. 
Design text. Okay, there it is, right there. Um, how would I fix this? Position relative. That shouldn't have any issues doing that. That's strange. So, if you do this, it works. If you do this, it doesn't work. Hmm. That's interesting. So, what Sticky does is it sets the position uh, of itself from... Yeah, from from static to f to fixed. Hmm. So it starts out static and then, huh? That's not even doing anything. Scroll up, scroll down, scroll up, scroll down. What? This shouldn't have anything to do with it, but it is. Let me refresh. I'm losing my spot. Pot the clipped text in a put the put the clip text in a div with overflow hidden. Is it the clip text, really, that's causing the issue? That's not it. Ooh, you're doing a store? Nice. Put the clip text in a div. How does... How does this have anything to do with this okay i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it luke also if you here if you want to try it oh yeah he already put the preview link in the chat um okay it's already in a div though so this about heading should have overflow hidden like that is that what you're saying that still works it's just this part right here this over services overlay Oh, I think I have a better solution for you. You have no children inside of here, so you don't need flex. But you can set this to... Set this to 0, 0, 0, right? And the width is 100%. And in your interaction, just make this go down to zero like that and you'll be fine so ch so here i'm gonna refresh here's the solution ready easier easier go to your services uh go to your overlay where's that so you have your overlay right so you don't need flex on your overlay because you don't have any child elements set this to the right and set that to 0%. What's causing the horizontal scroll is you're pushing it to the right. And the more you push it to the right, the more horizontal scroll bar you have. So put this to 0%. Okay? And for your page load, okay, your services shouldn't move. It shouldn't be a move. Okay? It should be a size so the initial size is going to be 100 percent and then at the end it's going to be zero percent wait that's a move boom and i don't have scroll wheel 
I mean, horizontal scroll. That's it. That's all you got to do. And then at the end, go ahead and do a hide show and remove it from your page. You should be good to go. Boom. Just like that. And then right here, the services overlay. Just set this to zero. So you can continue working. Hey, I wanted that to be initial. There we go. Cool. Done. Hopefully this helps. Uh, rewind this recording um, once it's posted so you can see and just follow along. But yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully. I think that solves it. Cool. A lot of interactions today. I like it. That was fun. That was fun. I think some of the timings can be fixed. Yeah, what happened there? Ugh, life isn't done. Oh, the color block and this are happening at the same time with the zero delay. That's why. So this delay needs to be like 0.5. No, 2.5. What? Nav bar, you're supposed to be supposed to be cool. There we go. Cool. Two streams a week, a little scarce. Family comes first. Family always comes first. Um I always think about it like when I like stare at my daughter, I'm like this is the last time she's going to be this exact age until the next day. And that's the last time she's going to be that exact age until the next day and so on and so on. And I don't want to miss a day. And um, I guess when you have a child, things change. Well, not only physically, financially, emotionally, but like mentally things change and um yeah i don't want to don't want to miss it don't want to miss don't want to miss a day and there are times when i have to travel and i have to miss a day and it's sad but thank thank god for technology that we have like facetime duo and whatnot so it's all good it's all good um yeah this has been fun thank you guys so so much and again Vladimir, I got five kids. They're growing up so fast. Yeah, yeah. It's it, 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 kids, man. They they help you think about life. And I just stare into her eyes, and I'm like, "What are you thinking? What are you going to be? What are you What are you gonna do?" And and also, sadly, who's gonna be your boyfriend? Who am I going to give you away to when you get married? And you know, <laughs> I'm already thinking those things. But, um, thankfully not yet, not yet. Uh, Ole, Ole, thank you so much. I think you're new here to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Um, enjoy the time. She's young, small kids, small problems, big kids, big problems. Yep. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Let's play some music. I really like this song. I'm like such a fan of it. Playing it twice. Huh? I don't mind. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Anyways. Yay, Doug fixed it. Let's go look real quick. Wait, nope, not gonna do it there. Uh, here it is. Show me you fixed it. Services. Good job. Good job. Isn't learning fun? Yes. And I think, again, back on kids and back on the insight lander and all this stuff learning is fun and when we're born we're meant to learn in in failing you, failure or asking for help should never be frowned upon if you mess up ask for help that's i'm asking you all for help and i've been doing this webflow stuff since closed beta and um and I still ask for help and it's you know it's fun to ask for help it's fun to see people 
find help it's fun to help people and i think that's what all of us humans are meant to do and just look at what happened i mean that's not just an american um lander on mars no there's instruments on there that are made by different agencies different people from different countries i think bartosz one of the qa uh senior qa at webflow he said that the drill that's going to drill 15 feet down to help us study the core of mars that was actually made in poland so that's awesome the collective smart minds of the world is able to come together work together and put something on a different space rock so we can learn more new knowledge it's fun and bring it back to web design learning how grid works and flexbox and the overlays and whatnot it's tough but it's fun to learn and we all learn together thank you so much for watching this stream i hope you join me again tomorrow on youtube.com webflow or f if you haven't subscribed to this channel go ahead and do so i'm streaming mondays thursdays and maybe saturdays at 8 p.m pacific thank you all so much hit that notification bell, and as always, make the web beautiful. See ya.